So who is the babysitter? Uh, the babysitter is Setsuko Kagaku, which means Setsuko Science. Uh, and she is a freshman in high school uh, at a new school and she's kind of living in this world that's very terrifying because it's uh, the world of uh, Japanese pop culture where there's giant monster attacks and uh, you know things with lots of tentacles and uh, just craziness happening all the time. Originally, the book was supposed to be about her babysitting things, hence the term, the babysitter. But while working on it, I came up with a bright idea to not have any babysitting in the book. That's just her profession, and it doesn't actually deal with that. Although she does kind of babysit this thing called the fleshy, which is like a Tamagotchi that's actually alive and can die. You don't buy things for it. The kind of look and feel I was going for with this book was, uh, I wanted to take, uh, you know how you look at Japanese versions of American, they're all screwed up or they don't get things right. So I wanted to take an uninformed American look at Japan by just things I'd seen like anime and comics I'd read and uh, rumors. And uh, so I just kind of threw everything I could into uh, this book to create an uninformed view of what Japan might be. For the characters in The Babysitter, we have Setsuko, uh, the main character. Her father, in some accident, was blinded and crippled, so he's stuck in his, he's a scientist for the government, he's stuck in his laboratory, attached to machines, and he has these plugs that are plugged into his eyes, but it, there's this hologram in front of his eyes, so you don't see his empty eye sockets. Her mother is an ex-superhero, she's just angry all the time. There's her main rival at school, Courtney Big Buckerson, which is the American exchange student. Japanese comics are usually, especially when they're brought to America, they're usually pretty small. Uh, you know, they're like paperback size. Uh, we decided with the babysitter to make it uh, big, uh, which is pretty big. Um, bigger than your head. Yes, it's bigger than my head. Uh, when I was creating the world, I wanted to create uh, kind of a visual comic texture that you couldn't just uh, read. You know straight through you had to really stare at like you couldn't um, you couldn't skip to the end and read the end or you couldn't skip ahead in a page and uh, read that you had to look at the page and focus on it to really figure out what was going on in the page and um, and then the way I arranged the pages were uh, it's like a maze so you have to look at one panel and then figure out where to go next and uh, sometimes it's really confusing. Uh, the book is very hard to look at. I, I definitely feel like I achieved uh, some form of weirdness with the book. <laughs> and would you say there are, there are hijinks? There are definitely hijinks. In are there book. shenanigans? I, there, I, I think there's a mix of shenanigans and hijinks. More hijinks than shenanigans. Uh, maybe some value. Uh, similar to uh, Mischief, maybe a lot louder. I think Ballyhoo is loud for some reason. Have you ever personally engaged in any Ballyhoo? Must have. I, it's probably the times I've blacked out. <laughs> Perfect.